everyone, welcome to Serving Up Plumbing with me, David Butler. And today, we're gonna to be talking about one of the most used pipes. In fact, it's the pipe that's just about replacing copper tubing on residential homes, and that's called PEX. Now, specifically, there's two kinds of PEX, PEX A and PEX B. Today, in this video, we're gonna be talking about PEX B, but make sure and look forward for that PEX A video coming out soon. Before we get to that, though, make sure and hit that subscribe button, give it a thumbs up if you like this video, and let me know your thoughts on PEX B. Now, let's talk about PEX B. Here we have the components of what you need to install PEX B. We have our crimp rings, we have our crimpers, we have our fittings, and with the fittings, we have female adapters, we have male adapters, we have 90s, we have reducing fittings, we have T's. Of course, they have reducing T's. Anything that they have in copper, they're gonna have in PEX also. And as we know, PEX has replaced copper for installing the potable domestic water lines on most houses. And the wonderful thing about PEX that has come along is, it is for hot and cold water. What does PEX stand for? Well, it's polyethylene pipe. The PE stands for polyethylene. The X stands for cross-link molded polyethylene. Now that's what PEX is. This is PEX B. We have it in blue, we have it in red, we have it clear. All of these different types of colors come into play. Why do we have blue and red? Well, of course, hot for red, cold for blue. And some houses just pipe it in white pecs. Most codes don't require one or the other, but it does make the plumber's job easier if he knows exactly which line is hot and which one's cold. So, how does it go together? Well, first of all, we wanna make sure and make a good cut. These are what we call PEX cutters. They've also used these a lot of years for your lighter weight PVC, your class pipe. Uh, these are more difficult to use for cutting uh, Schedule 40 pipe. We normally on Schedule 40 pipe wanna use something like this that's a ratchet cutter. That will cut PVC and it will cut PEX, but these cut PEX much quicker and easy. As you can see, you can put it on there, snap through it, you've got a quick cut that's nice and straight. And that's what we wanna make sure, that we've got a straight cut. So we wanna make sure we have a good, clean, straight cut. What next? A crimp fitting. Now, notice on that crimp fitting, it's very loose on there. If I turn it up, it slides up and down on it. A little trick, if you're strong enough on your fingers, you can mash that just a little bit. And you can see how I egg shape it. Then force it on the pipe. And now, once we force it on there, and you twist it a little, it won't slide up and down. As you can see, it doesn't slide on the pipe anymore. That's just a little trick from a plumber. You wanna have a reveal of about an eighth of an inch. You wanna make sure it's at least got an eighth of an inch there so that it crimps down on both sides, the apex on both sides of your crimp ring. Then you're gonna put your fitting in, like so. Now that's a good fit. Now, we need to crimp that fitting. Here's our crimpers. There are various different kinds of PEX crimpers. This one happens to be one of my favorites, and there are battery-powered crimpers for those of you that do an awful lot of them. In the service industry, we're not doing crimp rings all day. In the new construction industry, those guys, I would definitely have a battery-powered Milwaukee or a Rigid because you're doing a lot of crimp rings all day long. That's a lot of work. You pull this back, it opens the jaws. You set the jaws on there. Make sure your fitting's pushed up all the way. Get your crimper right over the top of it. You push down on it, you crimp it, now, a lot of guys will go like this and crimp it multiple times. That's not necessary. You just one push down and crimp it, and it's there. And that's a good crimp right there. You've got an exposure here of about an eighth inch. This is crimped well onto the brass, and you're in good shape. That fitting should never leak. One thing kind of cool, too, about a PEX fitting is this fitting can rotate in this crimp ring and it not leak. So as you can see right here, I can hold it tight. I can actually spin that fitting in here in case you get it crimped the wrong direction. You can turn that the direction you need it and that won't hurt a thing. So we've got a really good connection there. Now you're gonna put your crimp ring on, your next piece of pipe, make sure you've got your proper reveal, slide it on right there, and we're gonna crimp the next one. Now you've got a good system set up. Of course, it looks like to me you've got the hot and cold water cross, so let's not go there. <laughs> What do we do now if we did a bad fitting? And how do we save our fittings? Well, 
you can take your cutters and right behind this brass part right here, you can cut this off. And then we have what we call a ring saver tool. Every plumber that is doing PEX piping should own one of these, PEX B for crimp rings. You put this inside the fitting, you squeeze down and it cuts the ring you can see right there. Then we flip it over on the back side and we do it again. Now the ring's gone. One thing that makes it a little easier, sometimes you can just pull that off. You can also take your cutters and cut into the pipe right there to make it a little easier to get off. And then you can peel that right off and you can reuse your PEX fitting again. Pretty awesome, huh? Remember, save your PEX fittings that you have used. You can always use a ring buster and reuse the fitting after you get the PEX ring off. A lot of inspectors have sometimes talked about this. The crimp rings. These crimp rings are copper. Now they do make some crimp rings that are stainless steel. There are other brands like Viega. This happens to be Zernpex crimp rings. They make Viega, uh, Jones Stevens, all kinds of different brands. There are different kinds of crimps. This is the most common used crimp and system put in in the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex. If you live in a different city or a different place, some places Upanor is the most uh, common pipe used. Uh, some places Viega is the most common pipe used. It's just whatever is in your town. Again, this is what's most used in the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex. Therefore, we install more PEX B than any other type. Let's talk one last thing here. As you can see, I have some composite fittings here. These fittings are made out of a very strong composite material. We don't call them plastic, we call them composite. They're kind of made similar material to what they make some guns out of these days in pistols where they have a lot of composite parts on them. They're very strong, very chemical resistant. One of the things we're looking at is these fittings like this have a very small opening on them. And we know that calcium and lime build up very badly in brass fittings. They connect to it, they stick to it, they get a buildup starting, and we're concerned about that doing that in the future. With these types of fittings, you don't have that problem. Nothing will stick to the insides of these. The calcium doesn't bond to it. So most of us plumbers are going to the composite type fitting. They're a little less expensive. They're comparable to the brass fittings and they have some benefits that brass fittings don't have. So composite fittings, I definitely recommend using. I do believe that someday in the future, when we get 20, 30 years down the road, some of these brass fittings are gonna start causing us problems. That's my opinion. One more thing that makes PEX B a little more appealing than PEX A. PEX A pipe will work with PEX B fittings. So this is a PEX B fitting. This is PEX A pipe. It says right here, Aquapex Upanor PEX A. I can put a PEX B crimp fitting on here and crimp this on. I cannot use Upanor fittings on PEX B. So if you have a house that's all Upanor PEX A and all you have on your truck is PEX B fittings, you can use the PEX B fittings on the Upanor and crimp it on with a regular crimp ring. Awesome, right? Well, hopefully, now you know how to put fittings together on PEX B, how to cut it, how to crimp it, and how to take the crimp rings off. Hope you like this video. Please give it a thumbs up. Please hit that subscribe button, and let me know if there's something you'd like to see in the future. Remember, just tell your friends the butler did it.